Hi, this is uh, part three of my video series called um, My 50 Books I Published to Amazon's Kindle, which I started publishing almost three years ago. Oh, okay, now the very first book I published, I pu published, period, is this one here. It's called uh, Trucker Jihad. I published it uh, June 2nd, 2012, and someone actually bought this thing and gave it five out of five stars. It's about a, um, about a uh, high school science, or, uh, well, a high school uh, science teacher, yeah, who uh, ends up being hunted by Muslims when he discovers a flash drive well, after he discovers a flash drive on his computer left by the substitute teacher that was there before him, and he learns a lot about Islam, sees the threat it is, and ends up um, exposing it on the internet. No trouble is, the Muslims find out where he lives, and he ends up trying to escape by um, become a truck driver, a long-distance truck driver. But uh, in the day and age of information at your one's fingertips, he uh, he can it. The, the, the fun just doesn't stop. This is called Christian vs. Christian. Yeah, it's me boxing my brother. And, um... It's different from, uh... It's, it's basically me in a confrontation with fellow Christians. I consider myself a Christian. Same sort of thing I go with Muslims, except it's uh, with Christians. Um... Uh, I just present something that uh, seems, um, well, we end up talking about free will and predestination, basically, so. Uh, not much difference between me and, and talking with Muslims. Basically, it's, it's a predestination free will thing. Okay, another two Muslims for the price of one. Uh, it's like a Christian versus Christian, but again, it's, 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 it's a non-fiction non book. And if that's a Quran used for toilet paper looking, well, yeah. So a little controversial thing. Uh, 2001, A Spiritual Idiocy. I wrote this uh, January 1st of this year. I mean, I published it January 1st of this year. It actually contains three... Uh, is this the one? No, this is actually a screenplay about a guy who... Um, Uh, is working on a project to uh, um, expose a theory to a mass audience uh, by unraveling the video on this on this on this on the on the coastal highway highway one and um, in the process before that happens though he um, sits through a lot of uh, his younger self talking about uh, spiritual matters and science and stuff and uh, it's a lot like uh, with, with 2001 Space Odyssey <laughs> there was a monolith that was uh, shooting off a radio beam to Jupiter whereas but in this thing it, instead of a monolith it's a uh, a bunch of videotapes that if hooked up would uh, call people's attention to the coastal highway and um, it's basically about loneliness pretty much the sky is falling the sky is falling it contains three plays and one screenplay dealing with those involved in eschatology it contains this play here 2001 uh, Space Odyssey but it's actually uh, in the book it's called uh, Messages from the Edge of Earth um, for there must needs be heresies. This is a uh, a book dealing with my uh, talks with my my friend, who um, and also Christians, and that's me on the rock here, and that's my friend, and uh, it's 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 uh, basically uh, dealing with the. Uh, Talking different types of Christianity. There must for there must these be also heresies among you. That comes from the Bible. 
and I used it as a title. There's a better uh, version of this book that's shorter and uh, more to the point. I don't know if it's going to show it here. I don't think so. Uh, two Muslims for the Price of One. Um, if you can read the Arabic, those are four mystery words that um, uh, don't translate. They're from uh, Sunan Abu Dawud 2250, and uh, they're located in the English version of uh, Sunan Abu Dawud that uh, says, in the presence of their husbands who are unbelievers, uh, that a Muslim can uh, have intercourse with. It can have intercourse in the presence of uh, intercourse with captured women in the presence of the husbands or unbelievers so I put that in the as the book cover and it's also a non it's a non-muslim it's it's a, it's a it's a non-fiction book this is perhaps one of the shortest things I put on amazon.com's kindle it's called the mysterious trial of a video file which is the precursor to um, uh, Messages from the Age of Earth and uh, uh, other things that I wrote. Yeah, that that's me in the here. Yeah. Now this is uh, the strange universe of Newton. One of uh, the same sort of people dealing with the same sort of people that were in uh, the Wrath of Ramadar and uh, Call Me Jibril. This really has nothing to do with Islam. It's just a space opera, pretty much. That I wrote a long time ago. I thought, oh, I think I'll publish it. This is the... Um, I think this is the Italian version of Trek Jihad. The stealth Muslim attacks... <laughs> another... Uh, this is another... Uh, Nonfiction book where I'm always being attacked by a Muslim who can only defend Islam by using uh, ad hominem personal attack. That's all he can do. It's kind of funny. Now, this is called Ramat's Quran, and I consider this my masterpiece. This book is my masterpiece. Um, what I do is I get rid of all the scriptures from the Quran except for the ones that uh, point to the Bible. Uh, being the book that we should stand firm upon and use to judge the end of the Quran, and and um, I, in other words, I only kept in the scriptures of the Quran that uh, don't make sense that the Bible is, as Muslims say, corrupted, and then it contains uh, my talks with Muslims and shows how I use this book to. Uh, Asking questions and things. I consider that, I say, really, I I consider uh, Ramat's Quran to be my masterpiece. There's no doubt about it. It's the best book I've written. Um, Ziad, it's the same sort of thing. But this Muslim just keeps on coming back. So he finally got his own book. And uh, if he comes back again, there'll be a Ziad too. Eeb. Eeb, um, dealing with a Muslim named Ibrahim. It's like Ziad, except this Muslim uh, seems to be uh, smarter. And um, non-fiction book. I think it's a good book, I really do. But as I said, Ramat's Quran to me is the masterpiece. And after writing that, I just think, ah, I don't have to write any more books. <laughs> So 50, that's a good number. I'll probably write more, but right now, I think I'll, I think I'll uh, stay away from it. I think I'll uh, cut out the writing for a while.